All of you, welcome back once again. So let's try to solve a technical round question for a solid smart contract developer. So you guys can understand that what type of question you will be asked in an interview round because this is the question which I asked one of the candidate and he failed to respond. So I thought let's make a video and let me give you a approach which you have to take and what is the question and what type of question you're going to be asked in the interview round. Companies have different requirement, different project. So based on that, they're going to ask you the question. So you have to prepare yourself before you sit for the interview and what you can expect in the technical round so that's what we're going to talk about it so the question is very simple write a function which is going to distribute the fund among the addresses based on their share value so what logic you're going to implement you have to keep the consideration about the security as well as the clean logic you have to implement so how are you going to take that approach so i'll talk about the solution that how you can build this particular functionality and how you're going to make this work so this is the entire contract which i have written in that i have a function which is going to simply transfer the fund based on their share value so this is the what i have here so i call this split payment so you have to pass it as a form of array the address and you have to pass as a form of unt in form of array and that's what we are taking in this particular function then we are checking for the length because this is very important you have to build the logic and you have to calculate that how what is the length of the array the addresses and then you have to simply go ahead after that you have to check the fund that whether it's zero or not because this is one of the problem i have seen that the guys did this particular check but he forgot to add this value check you have to check the value that the function is getting called the user is calling the function it's providing the actual value on basic thing we have the requirements then the next one we have is to calculate the share this particular data we already have right up here it's coming as a form of share and array so we are simply running a loop to calculate that what person we have to provide to each one of the addresses and here we are simply doing the calculation because whatever share we're going to provide for the user for the candidate it should be equal to 100 so it could be have as a form of array so like first year we person 40 percent 17 and the last one is going to be 30 percent so we're going to have three candidate with 100 percent so that's how we are building this particular logic so mark because we are distributing the fund based on the percentage so that's the check we have here so after that we are doing the transfer of the fund so here we have this so what we are doing we are running a simple for loop we are taking the addresses and we are simply making the payment so here we have to calculate the share the percentage they will receive and we have to do the multiplication so we can know that what percentage the candidate is going to receive in the vault address and we are calling the call method and here we are simply checking for the success or failure so let me execute this function and let me show you that how the fund is going to be distributed so i'll simply come back here and i will come back to the this particular section i'm going to take in the simple local environment and here we have the contract so let me deploy the contract first so the contract is deployed and here you can see we have this interface and here we have this particular function in which we have to pass this to argument and both is going to be as a form of array so i already given you a couple of addresses so these addresses we have from here so this is the first second and third and that's what i have taken here so i'll select this one because this is the account i have taken and this is the account has the power to transfer the fund to all the addresses so what i have to do is i'll simply come back here and i have to take the array and i have to define the addresses so let's take that all together we're going to have this three now i'm simply copy the address so this one is going to be first my niche is she is crying and i have to paste this here as well and the last address is going to be this one so i'll simply bring it here and bring it inside this so we got this three array for the addresses where i have to do the transfer of the fund now i have to provide the share which each user will receive and this particular is going to be as a form of percentage so again what i will do the first user will receive let's say 50 percent amount of the fund which i won't transfer the second user is going to receive let's say 20 percent of the fund and the third user is going to receive 30 percent of the fund so total is going to be 100 because you cannot exceed the limit of the 100 so those are the things you have to keep in mind right now if you come back here if you check the balance of these three account zero 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 now i'm going to make the transaction and you will find that the transfer of the fund is going to be happen based on the percentage value we have defined so what i will do i'll simply come back here and i have to simply provide the value i want transfer five ether so we got five and here i have to do the changes instead of way i have to take ether so everything is done this is the value which i am passing because i cannot send zero because that's the check we are doing we have to provide at least some fund now I'm going to simply make the transaction. So we have given the addresses, we have given the share, which the each user is going to receive. And I click on this transaction. And here the transaction is successful. You should always check the log that what gas fee you are paying for making the transaction because here we have this loop. And when you have a loop in your contract, you, the gas consumption is going to be a little higher than the normal which you have to pay for making the transaction. So you should always check, double check before you actually deploy your contract to the actual network. So that's the transaction is successful. And now we can simply come back here and you can see we have paid five including the transaction cost. If I click here, you will see that each account have received their share. So this one is got like 2.5, this one is got one, and this one is got 
1.5, the 30%. In the same way, you can simply execute and transfer the fund. This time, I want to transfer, let's say, mm, let's say 50. And if I make a transaction, you will see the share will be distributed among the addresses. I can simply click on this transaction and the transaction is successful. So that's how you have to learn and build the logic. Building logic is one of the important fundamental in the smart contract development because you have to build a logic in such a way so you're going to minimize the cost for the transaction because this kind of logic you're going to implement when you're going to work on a DeFi protocol, when you're going to build a smart contract which deal in the staking and then distributing of the fund. So there you have to simply understand how you can build this kind of logic when you are working a banking system which is going to be executed on the decentralized ecosystem there you have to provide the share of the candidate so there is there should be a contract it's going to hold the fund and at the end of the day the, that's going to transfer the fund based on the user percentage value so that's it's very important you have to understand the structure of the smart contract that how it work and how you can build a logic like this Again, I would suggest you to simply understand and learn smart contract development, which is very important. You have to be good in the smart contract development. I would highly encourage you to come back here in the in the course section. We have built one of the biggest project, an industry Raji project. And here we have learned and built the complete smart contract for NFT marketplace, built multiple feature like bidding, tons of feature we'll have. And here you will learn complete salty smart contract development, where we have discussed extensively that how you can build this kind of logic, how you can implement all of the keywords, all of the functionality we have in the salty programming language. So you have to get yourself familiar you have to practice more towards building logic because writing a simple contract is easy but when it's come to building a logic based on the certain condition based on the business model is very crucial so you have to build and focus on your logic building so that's the only thing i want to talk about it i hope you guys have got an understanding that how things are coming together and how you can build a simple logic just like this for your next decentralized app with that i'm ending this video have a wonderful day bye, -bye.